Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Waller's Wallet, and in this video, we're gonna talk about how Citi and US Bank missed out on prime opportunity for customers to be using their cards during this time. Now, if you want a simple way to help out the channel, consider giving this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn that bell notification on as well, so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, at the moment, we've seen grocery and dining spending increase since many of us are well at home. Also, people are streaming a little bit more as well. And we've seen banks like Chase and American Express temporarily increase offers on their cards and bonus multipliers to give customers a reason to use their travel cards in a time when people aren't really traveling. And while Citi did make an adjustment to the Citi Prestige in letting people use their travel credit for grocery and dining, I think they missed a big opportunity that not only could have made customers a little bit happier, but could also have people using their cards more. Now, if you remember, Citi's updating the Citi Premiere, and I did a full breakdown of those changes, and you can check that out over here. But the two notable changes on the Citi Premiere is that it's gonna start earning triple points on supermarket and dining spending. But those changes aren't going into effect until August 23rd. So, those do nothing for people today. And you know what people are spending their money on right now? Groceries and takeout. And it seemed like a prime opportunity for Citi to reevaluate that August 23rd refresh date and adjust it to go live sooner. This would have made the Premiere a pretty solid option for people right now, but it doesn't even register on the list of cards to be using in its current form. And it would have made Citi look good here as well, and it would have given customers more of a reason to use their card, or it could have been a good enough reason for people to apply for the Citi Premiere. But City is City, and even though I like their Thank You Point program, they always seem to fumble a good opportunity, and this opportunity will pass them by without them taking advantage of it. The U.S. Bank has two new cards coming to market at some point. They've pushed back the release date, it seems, a couple of times, but there is one card I think they should have released or should release now, even if they held off on the other one for a later date. Now, I will give a full review on these cards when they are released, and I'm really looking forward to that. But the Altitude Go is going to earn 4x or 4% back on dining, takeout, and delivery, and even 2x or 2% on groceries. Plus, it will have a $15 annual streaming credit, and it has no annual fee. And while customers are inside, using streaming services, other cards have temporarily added streaming credits. And U.S. Bank, your card is going to be offering a streaming credit as a standard benefit. It also has a great return on dining, takeout, and delivery. If U.S. Bank had decided to release this card earlier, YouTubers and bloggers would be talking about it and people would be interested in it. Because earning 4% back on dining and getting streaming credits with no annual fee is a pretty stellar option. And this card does look to be a really solid card just from what we've seen from it so far. But this just looks to be a missed opportunity for U.S. Bank because people would want this card and banks would be earning those interchange fees as well. Also, I'm still waiting for them to announce some sort of adjustment to the Altitude Reserve travel credit so it can be used for other purchases or something. But they've been pretty quiet on this and with travel still up in the air, it would be great to see them adjust this in some capacity. Now, I understand banks are being more conservative but some of these cards are built for this time. And that includes the pending updates to the Premier and the Altitude Go. And banks like US Bank are already pretty conservative. So the population of people getting this card would be a smaller number. But those are the people that US Bank wants to be using this card anyways. And for Citi, the Premier has a lot of opportunity for current cardholders and even new cardholders. But while they're waiting until August, their customers could very well be using another bank card for their dining and grocery needs. But it just seems that these two bank have cards that could have been solid options at this time. And instead of them taking advantage of it, they're just sitting on the sideline with a Capri Sun in one hand and their soccer ball in the other. So tell me, do you think Citi and US Bank are missing out here? Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in this video. If you want to help support the channel, a simple way would be links on the website or the description below. And if you know somebody who could benefit from this video, feel free to share it with them. And until next time, safe travels and take care.